Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. The Federal Reserve payment system has crashed, and we are on a COMEX watch. Let's explore! This comes to us from Fox Business. Earlier today, for quite a number of hours, there's been an outage that has impacted banks, brokers, mortgage lenders, their ability to transfer funds between these entities and uh, in small and large sums at the Federal Reserve. And it makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes. You know, like I said, I, I'm very careful. I don't necessarily uh, believe in conspiracy theories uh, or in terms of uh, how people make decisions based off of what they interject as to what's going on or the motivation behind such things such as this. But you can't help but question what's going on and why this occurred, especially with what's going on in the world today and a great reset, uh, revaluation of the dollar and the like, and the squeezes that we've been seeing as of late. Uh, but let's take a look at this here. Uh, this is from Fox Business. The Federal Reserve System that allows wire money transfers crashed with intermittent disruptions for about two hours on Wednesday. The outage impacted customers, which include banks, brokers, and mortgage lenders, and their ability to transfer funds in large and small sums. A Federal Reserve operational error resulted in disruption of service in several business lines. We are restoring services and are communicating uh, with all Federal Reserve Financial Service customers about the status of the operations, which is Richmond Federal Reserve spokesman Jim Strader said in a statement to Fox Business. Systems were fully restored at 2.57 p.m. Eastern Time, according to a notification from the Fed. Processing of Fed ACH files has resumed and customers should receive acknowledgments for incoming files. The Federal Reserve Bank Services website reads, Please note that the backlog of files may take time to clear and do not resend files. And so the Federal Reserve system crash, the broad outage um, is being followed by financial players, including Cameron and Winklevoss, who tweeted the latest update from the Fed detailing systems impacted. He co-founded, along with his brother Tyler, cryptocurrency exchange Gemini. So here the Federal Reserve has experienced this outage and it's alert. And uh, this is fascinating indeed. Fedwire, which is also being affected, functions as the conduit for payments, according to a description at the Fed's website. And here's another um, interesting story here um, about this from, from KCCI CNN a little tidbit here that talks about you know with the how the Fed uses this service here this payment services banks businesses and government agencies rely on Fed wire to zip vast sums of money around the US banking system more than three trillion dollars was transferred daily using Fed wire during the fourth quarter so that is uh, a little bit something very interesting to take into account here, especially when you consider how pe many people rely on this service. And obviously the Winklevoss twins with their Gemini, they rely on it. And of course, it makes you wonder with all the buzz about now banking getting involved with potentially um, stopping um, transactions for organizations they don't like or they consider threats or what have you, um, or that have been canceled. Uh, so it makes you wonder about this, you know, and this is why gold and silver is so important. Participants uh, can use a service to send and receive payments for their own accounts on behalf of corporate or individual clients to settle commercial payments, to settle positions with other financial institutions for clearing arrangements, to uh, submit federal tax payments, or to buy and sell federal funds. But, you know, it is kind of suspicious. I wonder if this thing will get let us see exactly what this timeline is here. So this is what happened. Ongoing technical issues, balances that are incomplete. Uh, access to Fed. Check adjustments. Check 21 enabled services has resumed. And we can see the 
timeline how long this has occurred. It started at 1243 Eastern time. Uh, fascinating indeed. Um, but, you know, the timing of this and, you know, what's going on, it could be completely just uh, technical and a bug or whatever to cause it to uh, shut down. I'm not ruling out these kind of causes. It ha has happened before. But considering what happened last year um, with the 2000 2000 2020 ELECTION uh, with a simultaneous shutdown of counting of a particular uh, things that people use to make their preferences known in a particular situation, for that to occur in a simultaneous manner, and of course, what we had happen in Atlanta over a burst pipe, so to speak. It does make you wonder, and it just makes questions arise all the more because, you know, it's hard to trust some institutions, even private ones like the Federal Reserve. And, of course, knowing what's going on in the world today, it does make you wonder. So where does that leave us with the spot price for gold and silver? Well, we're starting to see a push again for silver in an upwards direction. And, and, and when you see these kind of alternative assets out there, in terms of what money is and the definition of, of money. Well, the best form of money is precious metals, gold and silver. And looky here, folks, gold has been kind of having some resistance today, but it's recovering some of its losses from earlier in the day. But it is still down a little bit slightly. And silver is up slightly today, almost 1%, now above $28 again for the ask price. Uh, the other metals are doing quite well um, and I think it just is testimony to kind of where we are at. And when are we at today? Well, the third day has come, the third trading day. So we are on a COMEX watch to see what they are going to do with deliveries. Um, and again, it's very complex what's going on behind the scenes there. But some people think that perhaps they will um, probably wait for trading to occur in May or to for the settlement to recur. They'll postpone the settlement from March to May. And that is my guess as to what will happen um, as we wait and see what kind of announcements will happen. And I'm not sure exactly when they will be, but um, we're kind of uh, keeping a watch out for it. And it's a complex and market. I don't know everything that goes on there, how to interpret the data uh, from there, but people have interpreted it and say that this squeeze on the physical is going to put a lot of stress in the COMEX as people want to cash out or to take these uh, take delivery. How is that delivery taken? I don't know. And what kind of fees are involved? I'm not sure either. But there's a lot of people in Wall Street bets and other places that if they're not buying the physical, they're buying the ETFs that are the close, closestly tied to the physical, which would be PSLV, which is Eric Sprott's organization there. Silver is certainly uh, in the news, and there's certainly a lot of buzz around this metal today. And so we're keeping an eye out and seeing what's happening as we assimilate or take them um, you know, into the markets uh, with this precious metal and how it will be um, handled and procured. There has been talk of an increase in some dealers of supply of silver products out there, which is to be expected. Uh, but again, there's long wait times and there's still a lot of stress in those areas. As I've mentioned before, for those who are doing this to send a message, well, in order for that message really to be sent strong, you have to affect uh, the spot price um, in some manner or form, not just the premiums. And because the premiums, well, they're going to go up anyway. And who benefits? The dealers benefit from that. Um, but uh, the COMEX, for it to be squeezed, you have to uh, keep a sustained effort for an extended a period of time in order to do that, which means that you may have to sacrifice a premium loss in order to do so. And my view has always been uh, the motivation for stacking precious metals is to preserve your wealth uh, in the course of time, because I believe natural market forces will one day truly reflect the price of silver. Um, but understanding silver is also a commodity, an industrial metal. You have that to keep into account as well through all of this. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, fascinating indeed. Uh, news for the day in that Federal Reserve. 
you know, what does that mean? How is that going to play out with these payment beings stopped? Is that a trial run for something else? What does that mean? How does that uh, handle in terms of, um, you know, the uh, easing that they're doing, quantitative easing and distribution of digital dollars and uh, to infinity and beyond? We'll find out. Nonetheless, there it is. There's your kind of your news for the day. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.